did this is day from shiny side out i'm in yango national park and enjoying the uh the lookout here this is where uh, as you can see in front of us right in the ground i'll see in, if i can get to a different angle there's actually a spaceman carved into the rock presumably and hopefully by um, aboriginals there's the head there's the neck and if we get a bit closer See, it's actually carved into looking like a helmet. Comes down here. There's something on the on the elbow or thereabouts, and a hand. I come back here, down the other arm. You can see fingers. Haven't counted them. Come back down through the torso, and you can see the legs quite clearly marked out, and the feet. So if you can see, there's one foot, and there's the other foot here. Extraordinary, quite extraordinary, I have to say. This is on the on escarpment, um, absolutely on the top. And I'll see if I can pan up and give you a look around here. Look, there really isn't very much. I'm going to pause this video and take you to what is the extraordinary point of this site. You have to go through some quite a lot of bush to get from one of the rocks to another. This is just a small clearing, and there's no carvings in in this one. But I'll take you through here, once again, another large area, and there's, there's not much on this one, but it does take us through to the larger one, where my friends are. This is called Devil's Rock, and for good reason, it's described as the place where, you know, I'll, I'll probably let Hovey describe that to you in reference to it. So, hang on one sec. In the background to, to my friend Paul, you'll notice what well, looks like almost an Aztec shaped pyramid. Bathing light right now. <laughs> Great commercial for, <laughs> for cigarettes, which I'll edit out. <laughs> Matter of fact, I want one now. So, so just for the just for the record, where are we? Devil's Rock, which is in the Yanga National Park, in what's known probably as the Hunter Valley, New South Wales. Awesome. And um, it, how long did it take us to get here? <laughs> yeah. A whole bit of a confusing trip. Um, it's not easily signposted. No. Um, following the instructions doesn't work. It certainly does. You know, and I think it was um, down to about a, uh, less than 50 metres on our odometer when we, when we finally paid attention to it. it this, is, this is an extraordinary place. And when did you find out about it? Uh, my grandfather told my dad and brought him here. Mm -hmm. My dad brought me here. Yep. And, and someday I hope to never have children and never bring them here. <laughs> One day I'll drag mine here, I promise you. Um, as you can see here, there's, there's a carving. We don't actually know what it is but it could be a representation of a goanna or something, we don't know. They're everywhere. This one has me intrigued, to be honest. And you can see a person standing there. It's got hair, it's pointing up in the sky. There's also another object that looks, looks like it's above them. Don't know what it is, it could be a comet, we don't know. And here is a being with another helmeted design. Almost, almost like bat wing kind of clothing, whereas it's known in the fashion industry as being broader than the, the width of the, the chest area. And then something here, we don't know what it is, I don't think we'll ever know, but we can see it and guess. And it, do you know what? To me, I think this person's looking up in fear, I see some object in the sky, and then maybe they're representing the being that came from it. I don't think we'll ever know.